What's up, everybody? It's Between VX Kicks, and these are classics. This shit, I don't know what it is. Uh, the angry review of the new uh, Union Jordan 4s are coming up right after this. So, I usually don't ever do um, videos or anything segueing in this because, uh, you know, being part of the sneaker community, like, some, a lot of shoes are hits, a lot of shoes are misses, you know, and to me, I think, uh, I think these unions came out in 2018, and when they came out, they were like a real surprise sneak hit on everyone when they came out. Um, it was like very at the end of the year, so you really almost want to get these 2019, because they came out like December of 2018, because uh, I remember, and... And there were just so much like out of nowhere hype that someone basically took all our favorite kind of Jordans and, and, and kind of made them that vintage style and took them apart and put them together. And you could even see the outer layers of the stitching that they use to kind of give that vintage style look in the de-aging process that they use for and the both colorways from the blue and the red. Now the red are my favorite. And even like with the shoestrings, how, you know, uh, one has the cream on the bottom and the black on the top and the other one has the black on the bottom and the cream on the top and the, and the kind of the, um, and the, the foam kind of at the top, the, you know, kind of give it the unfinished look. Like everyone kind of went crazy over these shoes and they were still sought after to this day. Uh, a dead stock pair of these shoes are both running between uh, 1100 to even $1,700. Um, but basically, all uh, what I'm saying is like, if you don't know, Union is from a, a LA boutique in Los Angeles, um, and the guy by the name I think his name is Chris, uh, what is it? Chris Gibbs. He is the owner and the uh, uh, the, the co-founder of of Union LA, who kind of came out with this and took his love of the Jordan brand and the Jordan sneaker, the Jordan One, and kind of like a Ver Virgil Abloh kind of remade in his own image, even though he took away parts of these classic shoes and made them into one. Everyone loved these shoes. Everyone loved these renditions of these shoes. And so when they heard he was going to do another one, everyone was super excited. They were like, oh, we're going to get... And then they heard it was a Jordan 4, and so many people love Jordan 4s. Like, I mean, there's a lot of shoes that a lot of people like from the Jordans, but I think, like, the 4s, the 11s, the 1s, um, I think, and I would put, like, the 6s, those have been, like, the main go-to for, like, retros, really, of this past few years that a lot of people have kind of gone to and did their own renditions and, and collabs with was those kind of four kinds like with Travis Scott's and you know uh, a couple other different um, people who re remix their own Jordans so everyone kind of gets their everyone has their favorite even though you go 13 14s but pretty much those ones I was talking about are every, a lot of people's favorite Jordans and so when we heard that the fours are coming out of the unions everyone was like super excited like I can't wait and we kept seeing different mock-ups online of how they might look and the mock-ups I saw were, were pretty fire. So I'm like, man, like these are just ones that people are coming up with. So I know when we get the new ones, they're going to be absolutely insane. And we got the new p images today, and they were absolutely trash. I don't know what that man was thinking. Like these shoes are just horrible. I'm saying like these are trash. And the crazy part is it's slated for next month at 250 I mean, I, I, it's just, I, I'm speechless on how ugly these shoes look. I've never been so more disappointed in uh, a sneaker, you know, collab that had so much promise. You know, uh, let's see what they say. After crafting and becoming one of the the best Air Jordan 1s in recent memory. Uh, Chris Gibbs and his um, and his West Coast boutique, Union LA, are relatively quiet about their next project, which they have been, uh, only going the teasing sample product of the Jordan 4 via social media, and now the leaks today suggest that the collaborations is finally coming to fruition and the first looks of the silhouette begins to surface. Elsewhere, the footwear wrapped in a dark navy, the overlayer swayed loosely uh, reminiscent of the denim and the toe thicky would mesh Cage's accents from vamp side profile and the and the bright white working timid with the forward forward eye staying moles whose higher compliments prefer darker red 
almost burgundy like shade this tone then works with an air jordan patch who's apparently the relatively rare and it would be ordinarily sit on the tongue oh yeah i see what they did they they put the usually on the on the jordan tongue on the fours it's like you know reversed on the um on the tongue like usually they put the the jordan 4 logo right here but now they put the jordan logo on the front um and I, it looks so bad like i i don't know like i don't know which jordan they, these are coming from and the only good thing i will say about these shoes is the the sole of the shoe how they got the de-aging look on the the sole of it you know kind of giving it that cream look but these are just trash like i'm really disappointed like and and the the best thing that I can kind of uh you know uh, correlate this to is I know a lot of you might not remember if you are big movie heads like myself uh they had a movie that came out was one of my a lot of us grew up on uh Sonic the Hedgehog now if you guys can remember they released a trailer last you no know, almost a year before before they released a trailer and everyone kind of dogged the trailer out because Sonic looked so awful he was he didn't look anything like we had grown up. He was a, li a extremely light blue. His eyes were all the way open. I'm talking about everyone on the internet, like literally, drug that movie. And until the director came out and said, "We're gonna fix it and we're gonna make it right," and it took them a year. But the movie came back out a year later, and the changes were made, and the, and the changes were better. And that movie ended up going a gross. It did pretty well. I think it made like either. 69 million or 80 million like it actually becoming it actually became like the highest grossing um video game uh movie kind of like to date if i'm not mistaken like uh like opening weekend wise and but i i say it to say is that we kind of need to keep it up in as sneakerheads and let them know we don't like this shoe you know they need to go back to the drawing board well that happened i highly sincerely doubt that but like i said if you can do that with a movie and that cost them millions of dollars. Like to, to redo that Sonic the Hedgehog, I think it cost them like I think they said twelve or twenty million dollars just to redo, to go back and remake him throughout the entire movie. So I highly doubt it's costing them fifty million plus to remake these Jordans. But they need to take this shit back to the drawing board. So I don't know what we as sneakerheads or people need to do. I don't know if they need to spam uh, you in LA and tell them these is trash. I need to go back to the drawing board. What? But I think this is kind of like one thing about being a sneakerhead that you can be disappointed in uh, in in what some of these people make. You know, I you know I know people put a lot of hard work into making shoes. I know this is not an easy process, but at the same time, we have to let people know that look, this ain't a good product. Like, please go back to the drawing board. Hey. Um, now, two years, you know, dead silence to work on this shoe, and this is what they come up with. Like, these are just, these are horrid. I'm not even going to lie. Like, I was, like, I was looking at these, and I was just like, I thought it was a joke. Like, I thought it was like another mock-up. Like, you know, I see the person holding holding these or has a glove on. Like, you need to have a glove on because these mugs is trash. Like, <laughs> they almost remind me of the review I did of the, um, the space hippie because these are real trash but that's that's just like i said that's just my kind of opinion on it like i don't know what we as sneakerheads can do like i said i don't know if they can get like i don't know like because i said august 15th is like three weeks away so these shoes are coming out you know what i'm saying but we need to kind of let you know union know that these are trash you know i mean people are still gonna buy them just because they're unions and they're probably gonna be a high resale value on them but I, I mean, I don't know. I don't think I'll even go for them because they're just, unless they come out with some different pictures or, or something to really hype these up because what I'm looking at right here is just god awful. Like, Jesus Christ. I, like I said, these are classics. These are classics. I still, like, I hadn't worn these. I wore these um, last week um, for the first time in like a very long time. And I just, Oh, the soft leather on here, the, the the suede at the top. Just this is a classic Jordan. Like this is like one of the best Jordans in recent memory, especially ones. And for them to come out with this is just trash. So, 
Uh, this is what I want you guys to do. Draw me some comments. I'm going to put a couple pictures up. I've been put, probably putting a couple pictures up of it through the whole review. But you guys let me know what you think of these shoes. Um, am I overreacting? Or are these tru shoes truly awful? Um, um, and would you compare them from the ones to the fours? Like, which are you? Which would you say was better? Now, if you say the fours are better than these, we've got some problems. So, drop me some comments. Let me know. Let me know what you guys are really think about these shoes. Like, am I tripping? Like, you know, what I'm saying, or or you know, are these shoes not that bad. Like I said, we'll, we'll never know. But like I said, these shoes are coming out August fifteenth, and the retail price is two fifty. So, I guess for the resellers, you know, go ahead and try to get them. Yeah. Not unless they're gonna give us another one. That's the only that the only thing that's gonna be their saving grace that they haven't shown us because that's this one right here is just garbage. So drop those comments. Let me know what you guys think about this. And if you guys like uh, movie reviews, uh, shoe reviews, obviously, or video game or anime, you may want to think about subscribing to my channel. I would highly appreciate that. Um, if you like what you saw, give me a like. I would, once again, I would appreciate that as well. And if you would share my videos. I love that too. Um, until next, guys, Mr. Movie at Case is out. I'll holler at you guys later.